Chess friends, how are you? Magnus Carlsen recently played a chess game where he sacrificed his rook but today I will show you one of the most incredible chess game, between him and Alpha Zero. this game is totally wonderful. Be so happy that, when other people look at you, they become happy too, so let's go, Alpha started the game with e4, e5 and here Alpha Zero played f4, King's Gambit, actually this opening is considered by my subscriber choice, White gets permanent weakness on these squares and diagonal but the rook may use the file in the future to attack black on king side, takes knight f3 to protect that square, here many players like to play knight f6 knight c6, even the d5 move or g5 to protect it and try to kick out the knight, don't be afraid of it because you have d4, e5 or knight c3 to play, Magnus played safety move knight c6, so alpha played d4 to gain more center space, Magnus responded with d5 to target the pawn, you may think of pushing the pawn but there is amazing g5 move to wreck your knight squares and its condition, always try to see from your opponent's point of view, so we have center exchanges on d5 square, knight c3 to target the queen, so bishop b4 to pin the knight, which is why alpha played bishop d3, Magnus responded with a queen check, alpha played amazing bon cloud move king f2 with the idea of playing rook e1 to pin the queen, we have knight d7 to block the incoming attack, that's why alpha played knight e2 to target the pawn, queen f6 to protect it and try to add pressure to the pawn at the same time. Knight takes f4 and Magnus captured the pawn with knight, 200 elo rated player will think of playing c3 to fork the knight and bishop, but there is knight takes f3, and your king position will be very substandard, to prevent this problem alpha played knight h5 to target the queen and he is trying to deflect the knight from the support of the queen, for that reason we have queen b6 to play discover attack to the king and rook with knight takes c2. So alpha played bishop e3 to target and pin the knight with two pieces, bishop c5 and we have outstanding move b4, try to deflect the bishop and Magnus saved it with queen takes pawn, but the problem is not over yet because alpha have rook b1 move, queen a4 to protect it but alpha takes the knight, if you dare to take the knight, then bishop b5 check will fork your queen and king. This is the reason why you shouldn't take it, alpha finally wins the knight, castle c3, to protect the knight. We have queen takes a2, Magnus have three pawns for the knight, bishop c2 and rook e1 is coming to get active on this file, knight g6 rook e1 queen back to c4 to target the pawn, so queen d2 to make a queen bishop battery and look at my bishops, they are preparing to attack black kingside and Magnus has no idea how, because of his limited thinking process and ideas. He is an inferior man like you after all, we have a5, he thought he could push a pawn because it was a pass pawn, but he doesn't know that there is amazing sacrificing move with knight takes pawn which was played in the game by alpha, king takes g7 and we have rook to b5, tenic points people like you will consider playing b6 to defend it, but there is bishop b3 move and your queen will be trapped that's why your relationship with people isn't better because of your 10 IQ points. Unnecessary desire and fears, so if you play a4, to protect that square and push the pawn, then we will sacrifice the rook, takes knight f5 discover check and you will lose the queen, bishop takes f5 bishop h6 check, you will lose the rook too and the game will be sharped clear for alpha 0, so back to the position, Magnus takes knight, bishop takes c4 check, here if you move back your king, then queen h6 will come to mate you in g7 square, so after f6 we will capture the knight to mate in h7 square. Black has to take it then after queen takes check king h8, it will be a checkmate on h5 square, so back to the position, we have f6, rook h5 and alpha want to play queen h6 check, bishops are attacking the king side like crisscross apple sows, here if you dare to play knight e5, try to block the bishop diagonal, then we will simply move back the king to target the pawn with two pieces, rook h8 to protect it then we will sacrifice the rook by capturing the knight, f takes rook rook takes e5. The king will be totally exposed and no matter what black will play, he will lose the game, if rook a6 happen the rank, then after queen g5 check rook g6, rook e7 check king here rook check ups and checkmate, so chess friends, if you want to become like a genius chess player, then you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more episodes, back to the position, Magnus decided to play queen g8, to protect it, but it doesn't matter for alpha 0 because he is deadly at chess.
If you dare to take the bishop, then alpha will play rook e7 check, rook ups then queen h6, which will be a checkmate, so back to the position, we have king h8, queen g5, what a super brilliant move, I thought alpha was a dumb guy like a human, alpha is threatening to take the pawn, then after takes, queen g7, there will be mate on e8 square, so if you dare to play queen g7, try to protect both pawns at the same time, then we will capture the pawn with queen king fork, takes, takes rook takes bishop queen takes check, queen here rook e8 check and mate, game will be over so back to the position, Magnus here decided to resign the game and alpha wins the game, so let me continue the game, I played rook a6 from this position, then we will play rook e7 to target this pawn with three pieces, white's idea is to take the pawn, takes, takes and checkmate him on g7 square, that's the idea of this position, so black has to play queen check, king ups, takes takes, bishop check takes, and after some moves later, it will be a checkmate on g7 square. Game is over, so wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.